In the center of the room, you can see a sculpture by contemporary artist Monika Sosnowska, sculpture titled Rubble. And this sculpture is here in order to introduce the stakes of uh, post-war reconstruction. Because it was not only a process of reconstructing what was there before, but actually a process of modernization, of materializing the post-war future. And the part of that future, the part of modernization, uh, specifically in architecture, was associated with a move from traditional building materials such as timber and brick to modern or so-called modern building materials as concrete and steel. And those materials were first used in Warsaw in several buildings, buildings which, uh, which directly moved the technology of rubble concrete from its experimental phase to the phase of actual use in architecture. The crucial example of such building is the headquarters of Ministry of Industry and Trade at the Free Cross Square in Warsaw. The building still exists there. And the initial idea for building that first post-war monumental building of Warsaw from rubble concrete and from steel came from uh, the director of the ministry, the minister Hilary Mintz, uh, who, was, who is also known as an architect of Stalinist economy uh, in Poland. Uh, and Mintz himself, according to the archival materials, approved uh, ordering of the machines for the production of rubble concrete from abroad and suggested that the building of the ministry to be built from rubble concrete as an example of the possibilities and capabilities of plant economy. Namely, he saw rubble concrete, the recycled waste, waste recycled into valuable building material, as a sign of superiority of plant economy over capitalist economy of the past. This was one of the meanings which the new material was assigned when it was used in architecture. Other meanings uh, can be encountered when we look at the first workers' housing estates built in Warsaw uh, in, the uh, in the 1940s. On the left side of the room, you can see the plans, photographs and documents from Koło 2 housing estate, housing estate designed by Helena and Szymon Circuses, one of the most important um, couple of architects in the 20th century architecture in Poland, but also in Europe. They were strongly embedded in the uh, Siam movement, movement of uh, modern architecture in Europe, uh, being associated and uh, collaborating with Le Corbusier or Walter Gropius. And those architects um, worked during the war and after the war for the uh, Warsaw Housing Cooperative, the main cooperative providing housing as an alternative to capitalist firms or uh, state firms during the 1920s and 30s. And this uh, cooperative uh, received money from the uh, Freer Plan to build uh, the experimental housing estate, a social housing estate, which was a realization of an idea which Circus has developed uh, already since almost a decade. Um, and this estate uh, was, was to be realized without the use of traditional building materials, which actually allowed it to get funding from the state. And on the photographs uh, shown on the screen, you can see the crucial site of construction, the site established even before the construction started. This was an open-air site in which rubble, concrete, air bricks were prefabricated, along with other types of concrete modules. And from those modules, the new estate arose, and in that buildings, we see a unique convergence between the modernist movement in architecture, a movement for modernization in terms of changing how we live together, how the society lives together, with the aims to modernize construction, moving away from traditional building materials using concrete and steel. The last estate uh, which we look at in this room is the South Muranov housing estate, one of the most 
well-known examples of architecture made of rubble concrete in Warsaw after the war. This was an estate designed by Bogdan Lachert, who worked in Boss in 1945, and from the beginning of the reconstruction period, he was interested in value of rubble. Not only value in terms of economy or technology, but actually symbolic value. Rubble and building materials made of rubble as symbolically valuable in architecture of the post-war reconstruction. And these ideas uh, came to fruition uh, in his design for uh, South Muranov housing estate, an estate built on the rubble and from the rubble of uh, Warsaw Ghetto. The construction started in 1948. The estate was located on the mounds of rubble in the area of, of, of Warsaw Ghetto. At the same time, the bricks used for construction were made of rubble concrete, had this very specific salmony or fleshy uh, color to them. And according to Lahert, uh, this uh, use of that material and uh, location of the estate made for it aesthetic and symbolic meaning, meaning of a monument, monument to the history, wartime history of Warsaw, to wartime history of Warsaw Ghetto. And specifically, he talked about the color of the estate bringing to mind all the blood spilled in Warsaw during the World War II. 